Let's make baseball cake pop. So I'm gonna dip my cake pop into the candy melts and I'm gonna pull it out. And I wanna knock off a lot of the excess chocolate. So um, you're not seeing it in the screen, but I'm tapping my, my hand that's holding the cake pop to knock off a lot of the excess chocolate. And I like to tap and twirl um, and then come in with a toothpick in order to remove some of the excess as well. As you can see, I'm twirling uh, and I'm gonna start tapping again because I wanna knock off again as much as I can so it doesn't have a, a very thick layer, it'll be a thin layer of chocolate, which makes it more delicious when it has a thinner layer. And then I kind of tap it upside down. Uh, again, I'm twirling as well. And there I have my smooth cake pop. Now, I went ahead and showed you all the cake pops that I have to make, and I have to make 40 of these baseball cake pops. So now we're going to make the center part of the baseball. And so I'm coming in with my candy melts and I've turned my cake pop upside down so I can make a U. And I'm stopping there so I can turn it around on the other side and do the same thing. Again, I'm trying to make a, a upside down U, which to me symbolizes where the stitching is gonna be for my baseball cake pop. Okay, so there you go. All right, and even though it's not quite even, the stitching is gonna hide it, so this it looks great. So now I'm coming in um, with, now this is not candy melt, I'm actually using um, some cookie icing. And I chose to use cookie icing instead of candy melts because right now I'm going on vacation and I needed this to be quick. Um, cause this delivery, I, I need to make sure is completed early. And by me using the, um, the, uh, cookie icing, the red cookie icing instead of the candy melts, it allows for me to go faster. Whereas with candy melts, you're going to have to often get up and remelt it. And I don't want to waste a lot of time having to stop, um, at different intervals in order to remelt the candy melts. So that's why I'm choosing to use the cookie icing. And so there you have it. And I'm gonna show it to you one more time. And what I'm doing here is just making an upside down V to simulate the stitching that you see on the baseballs. So I'm just gonna uh, continue to go around uh, where you saw earlier, I made the white um, line did, um, on the cake pops using the candy melts, but again, I'm using um, red cookie icing here to just kind of save me some time. And it still gives you the same effect as candy melts. So again, just make upside down Vs. Just keep making Vs all the way around, following that path. And I'm almost done here. And see, it looks great. So now this is um, my baseball cake pops. And here I have them wrapped on uh, a stand and now I place them in the box ready for delivery. If you'd like to see more of this content, make sure to click to subscribe.